come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It wraps so deep, our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Wraps so deep, our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Wraps so deep, our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Two thousand and eleven has been a special year as we brought you God's word as contained in our messenger angel from different parts of the world. This December, it gets even more special as we present you choice articles in the December edition of your favorite devotional. From India, South Africa, the earth shall be covered with the knowledge of God's word. Hawaii, that they are ministry angels. They are ministry for us. The Netherlands, an anointing is released when you mention that name of Jesus. Spain, the essence of God's word is love. The United Kingdom. When I say be healed in the name of Jesus, that healing has to take place. And more. It's captivating. Ooh, <laughs> inspiring. Taking off the roof. Yes, well, that is faith. And a special season's treat you can't afford to miss. Stay tuned. Today's nuggets from Rhapsody of Realities. Welcome to this special edition for the month of December. This is the special edition for the month of December for our daily devotion, Rhapsody of Reality. Realities. We've had numerous other presenters all the way from South Africa to Nigeria, Nigeria the, the Netherlands, Netherlands, India, uh, India South, South Korea, Korea, and we're presenters Korea. all the way from Hawaii. And we would love to share the word of God with you through our daily Hallelujah. devotional. So stay tuned. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. Don't touch that bell. We'll be right back with you. Praise God. It goes beyond language barrier. Because it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's wrapped so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Life is beautiful. Life is exciting. Life is an adventure. Life is a song. Life is a story. Life is a gift, and you can live it to the full as Rhapsody of Realities guides you through life. Rhapsody of Realities has just been a true inspiration. When I started reading it, I couldn't stop. Each day, my life got more structured. Start placing your orders now. Call the number showing on your screen, or visit our website www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Hi, my name is Victoria, and I'm from Hawaii, in the South Pacific. Rhapsody of Reality is very, very vital to me. Why? Because it's like music to me. For me, I personally love music. Music is a passion. I really wanted to make a song, but they said it it doesn't come to your like, like in your head like that. They said, "Ask your Holy Spirit," and I was like, "Holy Spirit, I really want to make a song." And so he said, "Read the Rhapsody." I read the Rhapsody, and I was like, "Oh, Amen!" And then beats started coming to my head, and I was like, "Oh, I like this." And I started singing what I was reading in the Rhapsody, so it was it, it was pretty cool, and I was so excited. 
And when my friends are being challenged and they have nobody to talk to, I'm like, you know what? I have a book for us to read. Let's read it together. And sure enough, they had a good day. Why? Because you need to feed them the Word, the Word of God, positive, no negative stuff. I guarantee you that the rapidity of the realities, it's such a blessing. You can never go wrong when you read it. I'm what God says I am. I have what He says I have. And I can do what He says I can do. If you don't have this right here, the one that's music of my life, get one for yourself. Bless other people with that as well. It will give your life a meaning. <laughs> Be the best that God has made you to be. You can call now to place your orders or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Welcome back to the special edition of the December Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Friday, December 9th, and Pastor Anita shares with us on Get Heaven's Attention. Wow, what a title. Amen. Say, Get, Get Heaven's, Heaven's Attention. attention. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Our opening scripture is Philippians 3, verse 7 through 8. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my oh, Lord. Hallelujah. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that I may win. Christ. Oh, Hallelujah. praise God. What a title. Get, well, heaven's, get attention. heaven's attention. Get heaven's Isn't attention. Isn't that amazing? People live for different causes. Some are in the forefront of laudable endeavors that seek to improve the general well-being of mankind. Many nations, for instance, have national heroes who, through their selfless activities, help to reform and reorganize their societies. But what does God think? Hallelujah. That's, that's the most important that's question. What does God thing. think? You know, Hallelujah. in everything that we do, it's most important that we have to consider what does God think for what I'm doing? Amen. And we're trying to get heaven's attention. Yes. And then it said, Reverend Anita goes and says, what does God think? What does he consider as truly important? What, what gets, gets heaven's, heaven's attention? attention? What gets heaven's attention? I think for so many people, they, they work at it the other way. They try to please men in what they see yes. now versus pleasing God. And yes. what, it, what is it? What, how am I supposed to get God's attention? You know, it's almost like our children, you know, to get something that they want or to get, you know, our attention. They want our attention. So they would do anything, whether it's cleaning the house or yes. whether it's doing those things that would get our attention. Praise God. So they, you know, for us in the things of God, what is it that the would get heaven's attention? attention? But we have to realize that these things are more important. You look, no wonder what Hallelujah. Paul said. He said, and these things, we count them as dung. Dung, yes. As dung. No, what, what a response to that. Yes. Trying to get heaven's attention. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. From the scriptures, we know that the greatest passion in God's heart is having men receive, receive eternal, eternal life. life. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So that's why he sent his son Jesus to the world. I'm going to say that again. Yes. He said that's why he sent his son Jesus to the world. He didn't send him to be a social reformist or a politician. Rather, he sent him to give us eternal, eternal life. life. You know, I love what Pastor said. He always say, does the world need another religious leader? Absolutely. He said Jesus didn't come to be another religious leader. Mm. No wonder why he said Christianity is not a religion. Yes. This world doesn't need another religious leader. Yes. It needs Christianity. Christianity. What get God's oh, attention? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. He said, hallelujah. praise God. He said, for God so loved, loved the, the world, world that he gave his, his only begotten, begotten son, son, that whosoever hallelujah. believeth in him hallelujah. shall not perish, but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. Oh, We've hallelujah. learned the scripture many, many, many years ago. I know. But, but now it's it, just. The way Pastor puts it out, Pastor Nisa just God. shares it with us. You know, just the fact that there's more to, there's more to it than just us living here. Yes, just us living here. Yes. but trying to get someone to get eternal life, getting people saved, getting people to receive this life that Christ came to give Hallelujah. us. He wasn't a politician. Yes, and he definitely was not a religious. Amen. Leader. Oh, praise God. Let's go on. Praise. This isn't to say, however, that it's wrong to advocate the good that'll move your nation or society forward. But it's important for you to get your priorities right. Amen. 
get your priorities Praise right. God. The Bible says, but seek, seek ye first, first the, kingdom the kingdom of God, of God and, and his, his righteousness. righteousness. As good and noble as your intentions and pursuits may be, if they don't culminate in the salvation, salvation of, of souls, souls, they, they won't, won't mean much, much to God. God. So that means, that's what I always say. He said the most important thing to God is people. It's people. It's people. Yes. So if yes. we're not getting people's souls saved, getting the spirit of salvation to this world, yes. it doesn't mean it doesn't at all. Mean much it doesn't at mean all. much at all. Amen. It says, heaven recognizes those who have made soul winning a, a priority. priority who promote the gospel of Christ. I promote Christ. it. Hallelujah. I promote it. I've always promoted the Hallelujah. gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's why I love this ministry because, you know, our great ministry because Pastor's heart is for people. And he's yes. truly raised up, you know, um, soul winners. Soul winners. All Master soul winners. across the globe. Hallelujah. I mean, who would ever thought all the way from Hawaii would be affiliated with something to, to a so ministry big. so big here all in Nigeria oh, but the heart is on so winning yes what get heaven's attention? attention before we go any further yes let's take a quick break Hallelujah. we'll be right back with you stay tuned. stay tuned come back with us to the continuation of today's article yes. we love you we love you it goes beyond language barrier because it's a God carrier it's our messenger angel to the rest of the world Trap so deep, our reality is giving our lives. Amen.